So in this video, we're going to be converting from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. So we've got four examples to run through here. Now in each of these cases, I'm going to be drawing a diagram so we can visualize which quadrant the point is in, and that can help confirm um, our algebra. Okay, so I can confirm our results. So let's take a look at number one, three pi over three. So here's my pole. Here's my initial line. So pi over 3 is going to be up in this quadrant here. So here's the point 3 pi over 3. That angle's pi over 3. Ooh. And that length is 3. So this horizontal distance for the adjacent is 3 cosine pi over 3. And this height is 3 sine pi over 3. So make sure your calculator is in radians. 3 cosine pi over 3 is 3 halves. So that's the x coordinate. And 3 sine pi over 3 is the y coordinate. 3 root 3 over 2. So that's the polar and that's the Cartesian. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. 5 minus 6 pi over 7. Okay, so minus 6 pi over 7, so that's going down clockwise, so that's pi over 2, uh, this would be pi, so we're going to be somewhere like over here, where that distance is 5, this is 6 pi over 7, so that means that that is pi over 7. OK, now, um, how you do this is really up to you. You could write this as negative, so minus 5 cosine pi over 7. So typing that into your calculator and minus uh, 5 sine pi over 7. You could do it that way uh, when you've got the diagram or of course, you can put this straight into your calculator as 5 cosine of minus 6 pi over 7, right? Now, if you do that, we get minus 4.50, okay? Which confirms that we are in this correct quadrant. So minus 4.50, I'm going to write these to three significant figures. And 5 sine of minus 6 pi over 7, we get minus 2.169, so minus 2.17, okay? And that fits with where our diagram uh, places the point. So this is really kind of a, a nice check to make sure that we are in the correct quadrant, that this is giving us the correct result, okay? Right, let's take a look at number 3. So, minus 4, 3 pi over 4. Okay, so 3 pi over 4 would put us around here, but we're measuring minus 4, so we must be down here. Okay, so this must be minus 4, 3 pi over 4. Now, alternatively, this could be written as 4 minus pi over 4. Well, that's your pi over 4. That's distance 4. Okay, so you could use that and find 4 cosine pi over 4 and minus 4 sine pi over 4. Okay, alternatively, on my calculator, I could do minus 4 uh, cosine of 3 pi over 4. And that gets us 2 root 2. And then minus 4 sine of 3 pi over 4. And that gets us minus 2 root 2. Okay? Which places it in the correct quadrant. Okay. So there's more than one way of doing this. 
You can either use your diagram or you can use the fact that we're remembering that x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. So let's just check on number four. Now, where's this going to be placed? So minus pi over five is somewhere down here, but then we're minus one, so it's going to be somewhere over here. So that's of distance one. Um, so this distance is pi over five. So we could work out the Cartesian coordinates by doing uh, minus one times cosine pi over five, uh, then positive one sine of pi over five. Or we can do r cosine theta, so minus one times cosine of minus pi over five, which is minus 0 0.809 to three significant figures, and then minus one times sine of minus pi over five, which gets us 0 0.588 to three significant figures. Okay, and that checks out with where we've placed the point on our grid. Okay, so this is how we can convert from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates.